Welcome to another installment of the Mastercam Studio at Prototech. This exclusive video series features the exceptional functionality found only within Mastercam, the number one most widely used cam software in the world. Here's the topic of today's video. Today we're going to take a look at merging fixtures into our Mastercam file. Let's go ahead and take a look. So in Mastercam, um, you have the ability to bring in fixture in. Um, and you've got to kind of prep for this before you get to your Mastercam uh, screen here. And uh, what I mean by that is going to the manufacturer that you want to bring fixturing in and downloading some files from them. They should have them all available from what you want to use from them. So in this file here, I have a rotary table that I'm going to place a vise on, and then we're going to look at some other options for other fixturing. So to merge in a vise onto my uh, platter here, I can just simply go up to File through Mastercam and go to Merge. If I left click on Merge, it's going to get me right into a Files Explorer on your PC. This is kind of what I was talking about with having your files prepped. In this file here on my PC, I have a Curt 3600 vise that I want to put onto my platter. I simply click on it and open it, and it's going to merge it into my Mastercam file. Now it merges it into my Mastercam file, it's not really where I want it, um, in location it is, but in Z it is not. So in the merge pattern options over here, we have a bunch of different ways to position. So we have select, we have align, dynamic, mirror, and scale. For this one here, I just need to move this up in Z, so I'm going to just go ahead and move it dynamically. By clicking on dynamic, we get into our dynamic uh, transform uh, option that we have in Mastercam. And now it's looking for entities to move or copy. Now since I merged this in, my, my vice is pink. Now that's giving me a little bit of a hint of how I can easily select this by using masking on the right. In the masking on the right, there is one option called select all result entities. If I click on that, it automatically selects my merged in vice. I can end selection. And now it's looking to place your origin position. And the nice thing about levels is we can turn off our tables. So if I turn off my table and my levels, now I can go and pick a point off the bottom of that vise. I can turn my table back on. And now I can go ahead and I can move this vise right to the top level of this platter. If I left click on there, it places my vise on the top of that platter. And now I can go back to my dynamic function and simply green check out of there. What this is going to do is going to be back to my merge pattern uh, dialog box here, and it's going to give you a few more options here. Um, as far as where do I want to put this vice? So I could say merged file levels, active level, or offset the levels by a number. You'll have to check these options out on your own to see what you want and where you want to place your fixture. In this case here, I'm going to go to an active level, and I'm going to go ahead and green check. And now you're seeing my vice placed on my platter and ready to pretty much program. I could place my part in there at this point um, and uh, continue to program with all my fixturing on my platter. Now another situation we can get into is maybe we have some different fixturing with a little bit more complex features. Um, if I go to the uh, Kurt Triangle uh, level here and if I turn off my uh, vise, you're gonna see that I merged in another fixture from Kurt. Um, so this is a, a triangular fixture that you can mount multiple fixtures on at once. Let's go ahead and merge the vices onto this triangular fixture. So once again, I'm gonna go up to File through Mastercam and go to Merge. And as before, as we've seen, we're into our Files Explorer and we're gonna pull our current five axis vice out of this file that I have this fixture in. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that. And it's going to place it on my screen here, um, out into space in this case. Now, in this case here, it's not, it's not anywhere where we want to be. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use some of the merge pattern options in here to align this part to one side of this triangular fixture. So over in my merge pattern, I'm going to use the align option this time. So by going to align, you have a few options here as far as move, copy, coincident, perpendicular, and parallel. In this case here, since my vise is, uh, looks like to be about 90 degrees off and, and way out in space, I'm gonna go coincident on this one. And that'll allow me to go ahead and pick different faces on my uh, vise compared to my fixture to place that and make them faces together. So in this case here, I'm gonna go ahead and select my face off my vise. 
and then it's going to say select the face on the destination. I'm going to go ahead and put that vise on this angular face on this triangle here. So I just left click on there and it places my fixture on there. Now one thing that it won't do since this uh, vise has moving parts, they're separate entities. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go back and, and select additional geometry here. And I can easily do that by just going to this arrow on the bottom here, left clicking. And now I have my vise set up and this is another point of colors in Mastercam can be very useful. If I color my different uh, parts of my vise different colors, it's an easy selection in masking on the right. So if I go over to masking on the right and select the colors, I can go and select the first color in here. I know that's going to be my color that I'm after and I can just simply green check and now it'll select all of them colors on my screen. If I end selection, now my vise comes over to that angle and you'll notice that the two faces that I picked are mated together. So I don't have to worry about them weird angles, getting them correct. Now one thing that is, um, that would need to be um, changed here is possibly my center point of where it placed it. So if I go ahead and turn on my translucent, I know that I want to get this somewhere in the center of this. So I can go and pick through this geometry and try to place that on there. Now this can be a little tricky to see what's going on. And if I continue to move this around, there it's now centered up onto that fixture hole. One other issue I got going on here is the device is at a little bit of an angle and actually what I really want to do is align this face to this edge up here. So in our uh, line to face options, we have alignment edge on the body and alignment edge on the target. So I'm going to go ahead and pick an alignment edge on my vise and it's gonna take me back to where it was. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to pick the bottom line there to there, okay? And now on my target body or my fixture, I can go ahead and pick an alignment edge there. So it's going to go ahead and I wanna align it that point to that point. And now my vise comes in there aligned the way I would probably want it on this fixture. And now if I look into my holes here, my mounting holes are all correct. It's a nice easy way to align stuff when you have some weird uh, fixturing to apply different fixturing on. Uh, if I go ahead and green check out of here, it's going to accept the uh, result of the align. If I green check out of merge, I'm also going to get out of here and I'll be able to start uh, applying my parts to the vise. Now before I move on from here, there is a levels here and it's gonna give you some options there as far as where do you wanna put this vise? Do you wanna put it on the merged file levels? Do you wanna put it on your active level? or do you want to offset it by a number um, that would have put this vise on. There are also some check boxes below this for settings as far as set colors, styles, set the C plane. You'll have to utilize these if you want to uh, have any changes made when we green check out of here. Then once I green check out of there, now I have my vise on my triangular fixture. Now let's say uh, I want to put three of these on. So instead of doing them same processes, since this is a symmetrical fixture, all I can do is I can just go up to right up to transform and I can go to rotate. Now this will be a very easy way to do this. I can also go and select colors here. So in this case here, once again, I like using colors. I'm gonna go ahead and select the colors that I wanna move. And in this case, I know my options here and I green check. It selects my fixture, I end selection. And now over here, I wanna say I wanna copy this three times at 120 degrees. Once I green check out of there, now it's gonna place the rest of these vices on all three sides of that triangular fixture, and I'm gonna be ready to go. Make sure to follow us on YouTube to get the latest videos that we're creating. And we are creating videos constantly, and we do thank you for watching them.